Hello, I am Santanam Bakshi, a teaching assistant of the Energy Economics, Resources and Environment course. I am going to walk you through the country energy balance given to the students. The objective of this assignment was for students to construct an energy balance for different countries to see the flow of energy from the primary sources such as coal and oil to secondary sources like electricity to the final end uses. As you can see in the slide, we asked them to construct a table which shows the different sources that are there. The students were asked to collect data for different countries of their primary energy uses and the amount of energy that goes into secondary sources like electricity, their uses in different sectors like residential, industrial and transport and their breakup into different end uses like lighting, air conditioning, etc. A lot of this information can be found on the website of the International Energy Administration as well as the U United States Energy Information Agency. So moreover, we asked the students to construct a Sankey diagram with this information. The Sankey diagram is a very good way to represent the flow of energy from primary sources to secondary energy all the way to end uses and in different sectors. As you can see in this particular diagram, it's very clear where the losses are and what the magnitudes of different things are. After this, we also asked the students to construct a PECSS diagram, which stands for Primary Energy Consumption by Source and Sector. So this gives a very clear understanding of what the different primary energy sources are, what are their contributions to the energy requirements of that particular country, and what their different breakups are in terms of the usage. The students were asked to construct these diagrams for two different periods of time, 2000 as well as 2015. This was to illustrate the changes in the energy flow of a country over time as newer technologies are developed. After this, they were asked to collect data on the different energy related metrics for a country. We had them collecting the carbon intensity, which is the CO2 emissions per unit energy produced, the energy intensity, which is the energy required per unit GDP, as well as the GDP per capita. In the assignment, our class was divided into different countries. There was a large variation in the countries, ranging from the developed countries, like the OECD countries, as well as the underdeveloped countries, like some of the African nations. The idea behind this was for the students to understand how the variations in energy flow happens across the wealth of different countries. The students were further asked to collect information about the energy imports of a country and its implications on the energy security of the country. Students were also requested to collect information on the policies of individual countries that they, were, that they had committed to to meet the Paris Climate Agreement. We also asked the students to find out what are the bottlenecks that these countries face in implementation of these policies. We now have three different countries presenting to you. They are Mexico, Australia and Japan. You can get an understanding of the information that the students found about these three different countries and what their scenarios are. Thank you.